Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we, I kind of feel a little bit bad, but at the same time, not really, where we actually now have a follow-up now from a, like this kind of big drama where PlayStation and Sony were kind of calling out these really big spam and like shovelware and people just kind of making and copy and pasting a bunch of just really mediocre games if you could even really call it that and well basically there was a huge kind of remap there was like a huge format basically sony is like removing these things deleting these things and basically trying to best ban people because they kind of were just scamming and scheming and kind of ruining a lot of these playstation 5 processes but now we now have a little bit of a follow-up where now even developers are now trying their best to apologize and feel bad after uh, basically sony had these huge policy changes going on so i want to go and highlight this and show this because it's kind of like a weird one i kind of feel a little bit bad because some of these folks are just developers and they may have kind of schemed a little bit too close to the sun but at the same time this is also playstation trying to make sure their users don't get scammed and they have a good first impression and other big businesses and other legitimate indie games also get the spotlight they deserve so i mean like i kind of feel like playstation's kind of in the right one for this one it's just so like the new store could look a little bit nicer so we're going to talk about this talk about the apology talk about like I guess everything just in between, and as well, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Also, we have the $500 for Xbox Series X, you get to pick and choose. Join the Twitter and Twitch down below for those entries as well. We also do have the Amazon links for all the console signups, too. A lot of folks have been getting consoles through Amazon and Target links, too, as well. So, as I mentioned, we've had a lot of kind of just big back and forth. Basically, Sony realized they don't want to have this shovelware. They don't want to have this just garbage games of, like, the same game where it's like Chicken Crosses the Road. And then for 99 cents, and then Chicken Cross the Road 2, and then it's the same game, and then they have, like, Dog Cross the Road, because they already made it, they just make one different new asset, and then release it on the platform. Or as well, this also is a big drama, which came to the games that were basically, like, you press one button, and then you get a platinum trophy, like, you basically, like, let's say you have 10 achievements, and it's like, what, go up, go down, go left, go right, press start, press end, beat the game, walk to the end of the door, and now you have a platinum trophy in, like, 30 seconds. And a lot of folks were both buying those games to kind of bolster up their platinum trophy list, but as well, a lot of these game developers were as well making all of these different things and basically adding it and including it on their, well, games. And they're like, hey, we'll make 50 of them because if we'll make 50 grand because so many people are buying them for like either the niche for getting the platinum rewards or whatever, then they're going to go and end up doing it. But now we actually have the developers kind of feeling the heat on the act, like their own actions. You know, kind of get their just desserts. We're now Shovel Word developer now is apologizing for spamming the PlayStation Store. Kind of <laughs> over here, which is kind of just crazy. So basically, Shovel Word developers, as I kind of kind of give you guys the rundown, was a lot of things of like people just spamming games, make remaking the same game, or re-uploading the game so it's constantly showing up in the brand new game list. Just a lot of things that people were taking advantage of that Sony kind of had enough. Now, there's people like me who are calling the system out because I just thought it was stupid. Like, I thought it just wasn't worth it for PlayStation. So, Shovel Word developer Game Achievements LTD, or Stroke the X Games, posts now in a public apology on infamous trophy hunt community site which is PSNP, which is kind of like the same thing of like the people who want to get the trophies or try to get the easy trophies. There's things like Achievement Hunter and other content creators who have done similar throughout the years. So basically, they basically went and changed up all these different policies and made it harder for these games to be sold and found and listed. Or as well, if they are still being added, they sometimes just get removed from the listings and all of that. So in their apology, the developer says he does plan to continue developing on spam games. <laughs> <laughs> which is brand new both DLCs and two variants. <laughs> so you have this whole drama, you have this whole call out, you have Sony threatening to go and remove folks, and then this person's just like, which is just, just going for it. <laughs> In the statement posted, the Stroke VX developer tells its readers that there are actually games, and they don't actually want to have these games removed from the PlayStation Store because he considers the published title's history, and sees it more as a way to improve. Now, this is, like, almost kind of sounding like a meme. I'm not sure how serious they may be. I mean, if they can make basic games, they probably could try their best to make legitimate, real, proper games, too, as well. 
And uh, they also want to maybe put <laughs> push more. So they kind of want to go instead go release 3D versions of the games to spam X. So basically at these spam games that we were talking about uh, to basically to unlock another easy platinum. So it doesn't seem like they're fully gone with it, but they're also kind of apologizing for it too as well. Uh, it's like, <laughs> it's, let me just read their comments. It's all over the place. So saying good morning. I wanted to make a little thread as an open letter to the community, so like, you know, the Platinum Hunting Trophy community and all that, and to allow a little more insight info on what we're doing at Game Achievements LTD, which is literally the name of their business. Firstly, I will get into a rather large elf into the room. We have made shovelware, so they've made spam, they admit it, they talk about it. This is not something that we deny, and it's not something that we're going to dispute. It's, however, something that we have learned from, which I kind of respect. Like, you just kind of say, like, yeah, we broke the rules, but it was allowed at the time, so now that it's not, let's go and change it. So, Stroke the Games were low-effort, quote-unquote, games created by us. And the reasons behind their creation vary, but ultimately, that makes no difference. <laughs> they were made in a way that should not have been. And for that, we are sorry for clogging up certain sections on the PSN store as a whole. And obviously, we're not alone, and other companies are doing that. So they did apologize. I mean, they did realize that things got changed. I, can, I mean, I see it. We do not, however, believe in removing history, which is kind of, this is where I think the half-like apology comes into. I mean, if they made it and they're still making money off it, I mean, I guess it's fine. I mean, Sony could always just delist or remove it if they have a problem with it, because they said they would in their statement. We do believe in improvement, and that is what we're going to be focusing on. That's good. Like, more game devs for legit games, maybe. That'd be good. We won't be removing the stroke the games, though, from the market. We will, however, be adding them to ensure that there is additional content within the game itself, making them more than just a press X game, which is kind of good because the other game was we just you press X and then you, you beat the game. <laughs> this, fan, uh, this fan can, I'm assuming, can be seen with the addition to the quiz sections, which more to come along with additional gameplay elements in order to assure there's more value. So instead of having the game only with you pressing X button to, well, move on, you instead can now do quiz games, which I'm sure if they still want to kind of scheme the system, maybe they can have like a, you know, the same questionnaire where it's like, okay, answer these 25 questions. Here's the A, 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 A answers, and then you go get your platinum itself. Going forward, we will be not releasing any further easy platinums. However, having said that, we have five additional stroke games already approved and one additional easy game that we'll release, but we will ensure that we'll, they will have additional content fleshing out the games added to them. So, like, it's kind of weird because they have, like, the barest of bare bones of games being released, and they're even mentioning this and talking about this right here, right now, and it kind of seems like they already have them planned, and apparently PlayStation already approved it. So, I mean, if they're already approving it, I guess there's not really much else we can really kind of say. Like, it just, I guess it kind of just... You know, makes sense. It, I, it's fine, I guess. Sony says it's fine, so I guess it's fine. But it's crazy that they're just like, hey, like, yeah, we're just going to add, like, a little quiz to our game. <laughs> like, is this even a game at this point? Because people are paying money for this, don't forget. It's not like free-to-play free, like free -to -play games. I think people are literally paying money for this, for the platinums. So we have a number of games in the works, which will release next year. These will be full titles, which actually require effort <laughs> and include gameplay in order to complete. Which, for a game system that's literally called the Game Achievements LTD, and their other prior games are literally just pressing X, I'll be very curious to see the level of well what the game even is so once again they do apologize though on the games we have put out so far and we'll continue to work on them to get them to a more acceptable level like they're they were owning up to it they're like yeah we were spamming but like you know playstation didn't have rules against it now they do and we'll fix it on up like it, it, no matter what drama like i i personally don't think these should be in the new list or be able to be spammed or whatever but like just as like the random middleman in me, I'm like, well, they were allowed to do it, and now they are apologizing, and they're trying to make it a little bit better. But, like at the end of the day, it's like a weird, just it's just like weird. It's just a weird situation. I don't know I feel like I have enough pride in my work where I'd want to at least have the game be okay rather than just press one button and go beat the game itself. So say we are open to suggestions and comments, but will not be responding to simply negative comments. Negativity with construction, uh, construction is okay, and it's how we learn to as well. And thank you for your time, and hopefully we'll be a little bit more than just a shovelware creator in the future. Such a weird, weird story. So obviously, as I finish this off, let me know your thoughts and comments down below as you want to type it up. So after defending the games for months, and even last week after the policy change, PSN users have pointed out that the developer probably didn't come to the conclusion himself, and his games should probably not be considered history themselves either. While the developer does now also want to add quiz sections to the game, they are still seen as easy platinum reskin games that PlayStation obviously doesn't want, 
and you obviously just spam X to go and unlock the game and get the Platinums. People also point out that the developer then instead of stopping work on the Stroke series has then started just adding DLC trophies to kind of keep going with this game. So what do you guys think as well? I would love to know too. I think like they're kind of just sad their easy scheme kind of got changed and they're trying their best to see if it's still worth going. But that's just me. Give your thoughts and comments down below. As well as make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon links down below for all the signups. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream links down below for all the signups too. And as well, just appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place.